Uh, Troy, what was your reaction to the news about Mark and, and kind of what's your mindset going forward? I mean, it's difficult. I mean, he, he's the guy who recruited me, came into my house, uh, told my family he had my back and I had his back. So, I mean, it hurts a little bit, but it's business and it happens and I understand it and we got to keep pushing forward and get ready for the for the new head coach, whoever it is coming in and be ready to work for him and be able to uh, strive for greatness like we strove for greatness with Coach Helfridge. Uh, no, I didn't get a chance to uh, talk to him, but uh, I, I'm going to text him and call him today and uh, let him know I'm praying for him and just that – um, that I'm here for. Troy, after the game, you and a couple other players talked about leadership and guys having to step up this off season. What's that been like the last 24 hours? How could, how would you describe guys stepping up right now? I mean, everybody steps up in their own different types of way. Everybody handles adversity in different ways. So I think uh, everybody did the respective thing and uh, stepped up in their own right way. And everybody's taking this this loss different. And uh, you got to just move on. And we're going to get back to the weight room tomorrow morning and get to lifting and get ready for the next season, get uh, get ready for uh, winter conditioning, get ready for spring ball, and just get ready for the 2017 season and uh, just be ready for whoever comes in and take the, take the lead. Troy, kind of same same lines. You guys are so locked in to, to football, to school, mm -hmm. to getting your body right. I know you guys see a lot of things. I mean, how difficult was that? Not even this last couple of days, but last few weeks with, with just hearing things about maybe they'd be making a change. I mean, it's difficult because, I mean, the, the guy was just trying to do his job. He's out here coaching every day, coming out every day. And to hear rumors about, oh, he, he's on the hot seat, he's going to get fired. I mean, I can only imagine how that feels for him personally because, I mean, anybody talks about about me after a game, oh, he missed too many tackles, he's not playing well enough. I mean, it kind of gets under your skin a little bit. But, I mean, at the end of the day, the media is just doing their job and he's just trying to do his job. So, I mean, everybody has a job to roll, I mean, a role to play in this world. So, everybody's just trying to play their role. And it's unfortunate what happened and we're just trying to uh, just move forward. You guys had some highlights during the second half of the season, but last night one of the things Rob said was that he felt like the trajectory of the program was downward rather than upward. Within the team itself, was there also that feeling, or did you guys kind of feel like you'd hit you know, an upswing of sorts? Um, yeah, just my my opinion, I feel like we we bounced back. I mean, we had a rough middle part of the season. I mean, we lost whatever it was, five straight to four straight or whatever, how many it was. But, I mean, towards the end of the season, we got the win against Arizona State, got the win against Utah. I mean, the unfortunate loss against Oregon State. But, in my opinion, I feel like we're uh, bouncing back and we're going upwards. I mean, I, I'm sorry Rob Mullen feels the way we're going down, but health had us on the way back up. And uh, it's really unfortunate to see him go because he really had a plan for us and, uh, and a bunch of guys were ready to follow that plan. And it, it really is unfortunate. All right, this is kind of a, a critical juncture for recruiting. And obviously with no head coach and the – assistant coaches future in limbo what would you say to a recruit out there right now a senior in, in high school who's committed to this university but undecided now that the future is kind of unknown here at Oregon I mean just trust the process I mean you come here to play with the dudes out on the team or your brothers on the team so I mean just continue to stay committed I mean, talking over with your family, this is a big life decision. I mean, this is, you're not just talking about the next four years of your life, you're talking about the rest of your life. I mean, it's not just a foot, football aspect of life. I mean, you have to look at the education-wise and the, the surrounding, the neighborhoods, all that kind of stuff. You're not just looking at, okay, who's the head coach? How many games are they winning? You have to look at the whole, the whole recruiting process because not everybody makes it to the NFL. I mean, it's like... 10% of the people in college football make it to the NFL. So, I mean, you have to have a good education, and this is a good spot for that. So, I mean, just go wherever you have to go to fulfill what you need to fulfill. I mean, I'm not going to tell anybody to come here. I'm not going to tell anybody to leave. I'm just going to tell somebody to trust what they need to trust and just talk to their parents and their families and just figure out what's best for them. Talk about the culture and what needs to get back for at, at the University of Oregon in your minds. Um. I can speak for myself, um, maybe a little bit for Brady, but we're, we're incoming freshmen. We don't really, we didn't see a coach before this culture, so we can't really say get back to the way it was when we didn't know what it was like before this. So, I mean, there's just little things that we have to change, and the people on this team know what it is, and I don't feel at liberty to tell in the media because people blow it up out of proportion. So we're going to keep this in an in-house type of thing and uh, work on ourselves from within and just try to just show the world that we still got what we got. Uh, just... I don't know about getting the edge back or just starting new, starting a new edge or whatever, whatever that is. But um, it just has to come from within. You got, you got to really want it. 
I mean, you could tell on some of the games this year that other teams really wanted it more than us. I mean, they would came out here. I mean, you look at the Colorado game, you look at their sideline, look at the Oregon State game, just look at their sideline, look at our sideline. It's just two different attitudes. I mean, half the time we thought we'd just come into the game and it was, oh, we're playing against this team. They're just going to lay down. But that's not the case. I mean, we're Oregon. We have the big O on our helmets and we got a, we got a big target on our back. So, I mean, everybody wants to come out and beat us because we're uh, a worldwide known name and uh, we've, we've dominated for the past however many years it's been. So, I mean, just to get to get an edge back is just to just have their mind rights and just to, to buy back into what the process is and to listen to the new head coach and just to follow what they need to follow and just bring the energy. And like Coach Hoke always preached, bring the juice because, I mean, if you have a lot of energy, a lot of juice, you're going to have a good time to play.